Welcome back to Elements in Focus. My name is Grant Sullivan, and always with me on the show, Aaron Rame, our director of financial planning. Aaron, so glad to have you here, my brother. How are you doing today? I am great, Grant. It's a beautiful morning. Amen to that. We're upright and having a good time. So, you know, in this show, for those of you who have been with us for a while, um, Aaron and I tried to go through uh, the, the five critical elements, our five pillars of planning. Um, and we find that, you know, when you go through planning and you actually focus on each element critically, then you can find that there's little, little pieces of these pillars that if not done properly, can almost wreck an entire pillar and worse, destroy an entire financial plan. So Aaron and I, we want to design this program and show to kind of give you little drips of nuggets of information you can use to have, to allow your plan to be successful and to stay away from some of those critical failures. And one of the big ones today, we're going to cover an investment playbook in the show today. And really the big one is market timing. Don't. So oh. we often find, that, yeah, just don't. Um, you know, the average investor who tries to time the market, study after study after study has been done. And when the market average is 8%, depending on what study you look at, the investor is anywhere between one and a half and two. And market timing is just something we don't recommend. Build a process. Now, on our allocation call with our portfolio managers uh, earlier this week, we found out a, an interesting statistic. And Aaron, what was that? Yeah, Grant. Um you kind of look at it from the odds of being able to participate in in things and so if you look at just say gambling in general the statistical odds the longer that you gamble the worse uh, return or the the more chance that you'll lose money however that is reversed for the market and so the longer you invest, the probability or the odds of having a return or a positive market down the road is much, much greater. Um, and so if you look at just data that they that uh, Andrew and Adam brought up in our allocation call, if you're 10 years out, you have a 95% probability that the market is higher than when you were starting 10 years ago. If you go 20 years out, it's 100%, 30 years, 100%, 40 years, 100%. So the longer you invest, the more diligent you are to stick to a plan, the greater the probability that you will have a higher market than when you started to invest. And that's such a powerful thing to remember, folks, because we get, we get so caught up in the news. And what we want to reiterate here is that, remember, the market and the economy are two separate entities, and they operate and sometimes on the same track, but oftentimes they'll diverge from each other. And you don't want to start making bets on the stock market when the economy is poor or good, because there's been plenty of cases where when the economy was up or down, cold or hot, the market was doing the inverse. So what Aaron's trying to get to is build a process and stick to it because that increases your probability exponentially to having success in your future. Now, and that's the other keys is don't get caught in headlines either, right? Um, recency bias is a real thing when it comes to behavioral finance and just, beha and just um, behavioral psychology in general, right? We tend to believe as humans that what happened to us the last 12 months is going to be repeated over the next three years. And so we can't, we can't have that when it comes to investing money and or building processes around critical elements like taxes or estate planning. So we, we hope that you, this is a great, lesson for don't try to time the market no one can if someone had found a way to do that we'd all be listening to that individual and so mm -hmm. just build processes understand what your risk tolerance is and go after that instead and if you're looking for what a fiduciary is doing inside of portfolio management for their firm please reach out and grab the market carver you can get that at 800 928 or you can uh, sign up and ask for it at yourlifeafterwork.com or if you're looking for a next steps meeting and talk about what's going on in your wealth and how it translates to the other critical elements, please reach out to us. Brittany's going to be on the other line getting that next steps meeting set up. And if you're looking to digest more content, we've got plenty of it out there. So on our website, you can download, consider this program. Um, we have our YouTubes there. Also, we're on every podcasting service out there. And if you're really diligent and want to get up early on Saturday morning, we're on the radio stations listed below as well. Thank you for spending the time with us. As always, it's good to have you here. We look forward to seeing you next time.